come with me to the rolling sea where the VR's number one. We'll have some fun and laughter with the adventures of Ian Hickton. Fists. Greetings, Cornerinos, and welcome to another episode of Ian's VR Corner. This week, I'm going to be checking out A Fisherman's Tale on the PlayStation VR. A Fisherman's Tale came out this week on PSVR and on PC platforms. And it is a, uh, instead of being a game, it's been described more like a narrative adventure. So perhaps a little bit of a story game with some puzzle solving wrapped up into one little nautical package, I'm, I'm gonna guess. Anyway, let's uh, press start and get going. Pro Lugway. That must be French for something. Ooh. Now, stop me if you have heard this one before. Once upon a while ago, there was a fisherman's puppet, carefully made by hand. The puppet lived a simple life inside a modern lighthouse, with everything in its place. And every day began the same way when he brushed his wooden teeth. I'm bloody... I'm a puppet on a string. I'm caught! <laughs> there we go. I'm untangled now. And oh my word, I'm a handsome French fisherman puppet. The toothbrush indeed. was in its usual place, beside the basin. All right, calm down. Wants me to pick up a toothbrush. So uh, before I pick up that toothbrush, though, I should first say that this game is controlled with the uh, DualShock. Two DualShock controllers the only. Would pick up his toothbrush. Hush, his French teeth. narrator. Hush. Hush your wee little face, your papa le pipi. All right, toothbrush. Mm. Mm, brush. Well, if you don't think wooden teeth need brushing, you've never had a cavity and a splinter at the same time. I kind of feel like I'm uh, Next, a Jim Henson the Muppet at the moment. This little stove to warm things up. And in VR, I do like the fact that it kind of mirrors my movement. I feel like... I mean, my ginger beard's pretty nice anyway, but this... Uh, I wonder if this must be how Johnny feels. Oh, oui, monsieur. La, ma French Johnny. Qui odinis la cucara? <laughs> la, oui, monsieur. Press the telescopic hand button to launch your hand forward. The puppet would put a log oh. inside the stove. Oh. Careful oh. now. <laughs> boing! Boing! Ha doing! <laughs> Get cold Papa! Again. Nicole! The will put Papa! A log inside Nicole! His stove. Oh, shit. Okay. Nice and warm. Safe from the storm. Next, he would take his duster and carefully dust his lucky seashell. Over there. On the shelf. That's not a duster. So, yeah, teleport. And, his uh, routine never changed. Ooh. Next, he would dust the little seashell on the shelf in the corner. Hush, Frenchman. Uh, yeah, it's just uh, teleport to move and, and blink turn, basically. There. <coughs> the shell reminded him of the sea when it was calm. Oh. Next, the fisherman would open wide his window to check the weather. Open wide my window. It did get a little stuffy in a quiet sea tonight. Hey. Oh. <sighs> Beautiful. Finally. And most important, every day he would work on his latest model. Oh. There, in the center of the room, Ooh. a perfect model of his own little lighthouse, exact in every detail. It was nearly finished, too. Only two pieces needed to be added to the replica. The little model cabinet and the final section of the wall. Well. Wow. Let's put this little model cabinet in where it yes. goes. There we go. Lovely. And the, the wall. Oh, this is nice. The model should be a perfect good. Now, the final touch. I thought that was a the final tiny touch. tiny puppet of himself to put inside. Oh. Uh, ooh. Oh, God. Little, little body. Little head. Can there. I Lucky this model snapped oh, together. Looks just like me. Now the little puppet could go in its little rocking chair inside its lighthouse. Oh. I knew that. Tired out from his routine, 
The fisherman will rest his aching wooden bones in his own rocking chair yeah. and go to sleep. This is that quite a cheerful, whimsical game so far. Worlds within worlds, walls within walls, closing out the storm so it could never reach inside. Until one night, something changed. Whoa, shit, the sun turned into a fucking steering wheel for a ship, whatever they're called. Ship's steering wheel. I don't know how that's going to affect the tides and that most plant life and animals will die. At least the music's nice. Fish man, fishing season has begun and stocks Oops, are looking thin okay. again this year. We all know there's a big catch waiting out there somewhere, but hold your hauling lines. Reports are saying a huge storm is blowing in. Oh, hello there. Johnny Chiodini here, just painting some Warhammer models with my paintbrush. It's a number 10 paintbrush with a 32 bristle brush on the end. And I'm going to use some moss green now to undercoat. Shut up, Frenchman! Trying to take the mech out of Johnny. Oh my word, how... The anchor. There's a giant anchor in front of the door. How am I supposed to get out of there? Hello? Oh, that's locked. I need another handle to open that one, I guess. So we got... Should I do my daily routine? Maybe that's what I'm supposed to be doing. I've already logged... Well, that's... Okay. There he needed go. to find something to pry off the boards. Oh, pry off the boards by the window. Okay. All right. Well, this this looks like it'll do. Ah, this would do. What was it Papa used to say? Use the right tool for the right job. Fuck! Fuck! Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. It appears again. It's fine. Let's try this again. Let's aim for the, the bits that this is highlighting now. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, I've got to do my extendo arm. Oh. There. What was this feeling? The fisherman hadn't felt like this for a long time. Oh, God. Oh, dear. This time. Third time lucky. We can do this. One for you. One for you. Extend our arm. Yeah. One for you. One for you. At last, the smell of the ocean. But outside, uh, not the sea. He couldn't shit, believe his son. wooden eyes. Outside the room was another room. A replica the? room. And standing in it, a huge but very familiar figure of a fisherman. And he knew that if that huge figure were to turn, its face would be very familiar. Sacre bleu. If this was what lay outside, then what was inside his <coughs> own little model lighthouse? It's him. the model of his own room. It's me again. It was all there inside the model. Exact in every detail, but the tiny version of himself, it was moving. He was inside the model, he was outside the model, oh. and just, just who was pulling all the strings? It could be you! Yes, sweet son, I've won the lottery! Yeah. It was time to raise this anchor. Raise the anchor, oh, because there's an anchor block in the door. I get it. I get it now. So yeah, we're in the lighthouse within a lighthouse within a lighthouse. I've thrown the, the... Can I pull my own head off? I cannot pull my own head off, but I can stick my own giant finger in my face. Uh, so yeah, let's pick up the... Alright, let's not... There we go. Of course! As below, so above. When he lifted the tiny anchor, uh, the large one was lifted by his trippy. giant self. It's like standing in front of like a mirror and looking into infinity. The path was clear. Time to light the lighthouse. All right, let's go light the lighthouse. Zut. The door was locked. Ah, zut alors. He must have put the key somewhere last time he left this room. Now, when was that? And then, my friends, the strangest thing happened. What was that? Inside this room where he knew every cranny and nook, an unfamiliar voice said, Hey, hey, you. Yes, you, the scruffy-looking puppet. What the? Yeah, you with the strings. Over here, on the shelf. Are you cracked in the cockle? 
Why did you move the anchor? Why? Oh, why did you take the roof off? The fisherman. He fell there. Well, his lucky shell had just started talking to him. As it, as it always too. does. As, as so he did do. not feel so great. You test me every day and you thought I just had nothing to say? I'm an hermit cop, Sonny, and you might not appreciate a nice quiet hiding spot, but I do. How have now, you survived in there? And what are we hiding from? I'm hiding from the storm. Why do you think I stole the key? The key? What? The, the key. Where is it? If you can find me my hat, I will be the captain, of course. And the captain needs his hat. And a life preserver, just in case. Then, uh, adjust this once. We will be... brave. Well, of course, courageous Captain Crab, said the fisherman. Your hat and the life preserver. Now, where would an everyday wooden puppet find a tiny life preserver and a hat fit for a crab? I know. In here. Oh, there's one. There. Now, put it around my shell. Okay. Good. Go. Ah, I feel more buoyant already. Oh, that doesn't look picture. right. Keep going. Need now, I just need a hat. A little tiny hat as well, huh? Is there a little tiny hat in here? Oh, maybe I can take the... Can I take it off my own head? No. Where's this bloody hat? Not in here. I won't move until I'm ready. There might be something in the cabinet, but the handle was missing. Was there another handle somewhere? Oh, okay, okay, I get you, I get you now. Look here. I got it, so thanks for the clue, Monsieur Lafranche. Got it. Good, but the hat might be just a teeny tiny bit big for me. That's okay. Mm. Because I'll put it on their table there, and then I use the power of infinite realities to grab the mini hat. Oh, look at my giant hat! Good, perhaps a smaller hat. One that can tell. There you we found go. everything? Well, took a little while, but I managed it. Like you Boing. Like this, then, uh, Boing! I will be Boing. brave. Okay. Now, let's see. Where did I leave the key? I was holding the key while I was repairing my shell. Then I had a sudden itch, and then. Blast it. I don't remember. Oh. It's not in, in the... It's not in here, is it? Oh, hold on. It is there, but it's tiny. Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. How do we make it big, then? I am embarrassed to admit, but alas, I have lost the key. Okay, hold on, 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 hold on. Oh god, this is a little bit weird. I need to bring it closer to me. Uh, oh god. Uh, got it! Yeah! <laughs> Fuck! Where's it gone? Bastard! Oh. I just lost it inside the lighthouse. I get it again. Damn it! <laughs> that was a weird noise. Ah, okay. It's reappeared up here. I'm not a big fan of the way that you're hesitating, shipmate. Things just vanish. <laughs> if you accidentally pass them through scenery, it's oh, what? oh shit. It's a little bit um confusing and or frustrating. There it is. Okay. We are ready Finally to go, back. shipmate. Time to open the door. I was ready ages ago, but your game can't keep hold of items. Bloody hell, you French crab bastard. Farewell, shipmate. I won't forget what you did for me. Your captain salutes you. Ooh. Am I be a what am I? Am I a mermaid? Over here, sailors! Come see me! Beautifully inmate! I definitely won't eat you! Come to me. I'll sing you my beautiful mermaid song. Oh, yeah. Come and sit on my rock with me. Oh. Oh. We're with 
you oh. through the night, fish fans, and remember, fish no fans. catch is worth risking life and limb. Right, so now we are in the... The biggest fish Papa oh. ever caught. Coat. The fisherman had spent all his life trying to learn to catch as big as that. Well, don't you look like a tall drink? <laughs> water. You need some water. But was still alive. This went against everything he had learned. He had to get the fish some water. Water! Okay. I need to find a tap of water. That's a, that's that's gonna be for opening cans. What, wait, what? What's that? What's a? Oh, oh, I see. Okay, okay, things are okay. So out the corner of my eye, right? Give me this. I thought that was a telescope at first. Out the corner of my eye, I noticed these pipes. You see. So I reckon to get water, I gotta fix me some pipes. Yeah. This section of wall seemed loose. Of course, he had forgotten to glue this part of the model. It was only held on with two latches. He must find some water for the poor creature. Okay. Right, this thing here, look. There's a... Oh, shit, don't lose it. There's a little pipe here. So if I... Drop the little pipe on the table. Look, oh! It's become big! Oh! Come here. There we go. And unextend the hand. So there we go. We got another pipe there by using the power of infinite realms and possibilities. Uh, you can go there. What's that done? You might say they were natural enemies the fish and the fisherman. But he could not let it die of thirst. Oh, right, well, I took the front door off. I don't know what that's going to do, but... Sod it. Didn't like it anyway. Guess we need to find some more pipes. Oh! There's one. <laughs> that was cool. I like that. Go get this guy some water. Some water. Success. Oh. Too much, too much success. Water flooded into the model. Quick, hold your breath. Oh shit. Oh, the water shit. closed over him. Whoopsie. The memories came flooding back. The memories? The oh, coolness. Right. Oh. The darkness, oh, the ocean tossing and oh. turning him like a, like a rag doll. All right, well, now the fish can breathe, I guess. All right, son, how you doing? Oh, water, water everywhere, but... Well, 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 water surprise. Is there <laughs> anything to eat? I'm hungry, hungry. <laughs> That's empty. That's empty. Ooh, hold on. <laughs> Sardines. Here we go. These would do. It's a fish hit fish world after all. Well, that's but how to open the can? Pretty. They smelled mm, vintage. But a stuffed fish could hardly be picky. Eat that! Bon appétit, nice. Greedy Guppy. <laughs> yes, more. Good, good. But I need more. Bigger. Bigger, huh? How about that? Yeah, you fat bastard. Get that down, you stupid fishy gullet. The bone? Uh oh. A fish bone. It's stuck in my throat. Uh oh. What next? It seemed the fish had chalked on its own appetite. Well, he's not chalked on and it. Also, a fish bone. Oh. 
Oh. He had to climb inside the mouse. The fisherman was afraid. How many of this fish's family had he pulled from the sea in search of the biggest catch? But how do I know you won't eat me? The fisherman asked. Yeah, how do you know you won't eat me? Oceans and her. Also, I mean, you're made of wood and probably lead-based bent. He had to help. All right, here we go. Now, voila! There was the bone of contention. Get him back out of here. <sighs> Thank you, fisherman. I, I could not get enough. You know, I wanted more. I know Always. what you. I know what you mean. Like I'm the same with VR fishy. Now I must repay you. The key to the tower door is outside. Oh. I saw a huge figure hide it near the mirror a long care. time ago. Outside? I'm certain it was around here. Outside, huh? Oh God! You want me to? You want me to get in the bloody mouth again? Don't you digest me, you little fishy bastard! Welcome aboard, Fish Flight 123. Please keep your arms inside the mouse at all times and no splinters, please. Hmm. Hold your seat, sir. Well, I've, there was I've done a lot of things in VR and before, but I've, something to be desired. I've never there was flown in the mouth of a fish before. Oh, yes. Hmm. Sardines. Quite sedate, this movement. There's no sense of nausea or you know, motion sickness here because it's so gentle. Here we are. Mind your step. Oh, so we're. Oh, okay. Go get them, little morsel. The key is up there. <sighs> the key was too high. He needed something. Uh, perhaps back in the lighthouse, there might be something he could use. Okay. So I think if I take the ladder from in here and pop it down there, that's right. That's the way you do it, you little flippery, flippery, slippery, flippery bastard. Take me over to the mirror. Yeah. Good work. Man, I'm a clever little... Little man's. Come on! Oh, fuck me. How am I supposed to reach that? Uh. Hmm. Can I? Oh, I can bloody teleport inside. Annoying. At last. Time to get back to the lighthouse. It wasn't really that. Well, uh, well. Thank you for helping displayed, me. Displayed, was it? The fisherman said. Of course, you help it's me see life. that there is more to life than the largest moss hole. Sometimes a smaller morsel is sweeter, juicier, and more delectable. Well, uh, we've both learned some things today, I, I, I think. But I've got the, the key. So now what? Can I use it on this door here? Whatever. And sauce, yeah. Morsel. Thank you for setting me free. I hope you to reach the top of the tower. Me too. The door opened. The lighthouse tower waited. Uh -huh. The fisherman had begun to think that he had all the answers. But he would soon realize he had bitten off maybe more than he could chew. The fisherman was nearly there, but something in this room seemed different. Like he was being watched. Well, I think reaching chapter three is a good enough place to stop. This seems like it's going to be quite a short puzzle game, so I don't want to ruin it for everyone who might want to, you know, pick it up themselves. I like the 3D effect of that picture. That picture's got depth. That's really cool. Uh, Presentation-wise, this game looks pretty nice. You know, it's not um, it's not the most detailed of environments, but or the biggest, but the ones that you're in uh, look quite nice. They all have this certain like little illustration-y vibe to them that is pretty nice. Um, Controls-wise, it's very basic, and picking up things can be a little bit fiddly, especially when you lose them through the, uh, the scenery, which has happened to me a couple of times. Thankfully, things that you do move 
do respawn after a while, so that's not that bad. Puzzle-wise, uh, it's quite fun working out the puzzles and the, uh, you know, taking things from big world to small world and putting them in. It's nice, and I'm sure there's quite a cute little story. Maybe there's going to be a dark story at the end of this. There's going to be some kind of story at the end of this anyway that will uh, probably tug at your uh, emotional string somehow. So, uh, yeah, if you're interested in uh, in this game, it's out to buy right now on the PS VR and PC you. platforms. Oh, my God. And I'm not impressed. Daddy? Papa? Papa? I mean, the Papa? Painting, the old painting of his father, the, the great fisherman. Ooh la la. Was talking. Zutelos. I'm talking. Trying to do my outro. Yeah, it's a good, it's all right. It's not bad. Um, you know, it's not going to be one of those games that lasts you for ages by the looks of things. But uh, what you get is a nice inventive use of virtual reality. It's the type of game that you really couldn't do with flat gaming. So if you like pushing the boundaries of VR and trying out brand new experiences, uh, this little narrative puzzle adventure it's going to be all right. It'll definitely be um, ship shape and it won't sink without a trace. <laughs> oh, ship jokes. I'm off to swab my poop deck. So thank you very much for watching, everyone. If you did enjoy this video, do give it a like. Do subscribe. There's more Ian's VR Corner every Sunday, plus a bunch to watch up in that VR playlist that's on screen somewhere right now. Uh, have a great day. Did and I do ever tell you about the time shut up, the fish as yep. big as you? Bigger, in fact. Much bigger. Shut up, French dad. Shut up, French dad. Wait, it's sea dad. Oh. <gasps>